again. Check it to wreck it, let's begin. Party on, party people, let me hear some noise. DC's in the house, jump, jump, rejoices. There's a party over here, a party over there. Wave your hands in the air, shake the dairy, yeah. DC Glenn describes himself as a hustler who got hustled when tag teams signed a record deal as young men. Everybody wants it so bad at the beginning that they, and people call it selling their soul, people just don't know. And you think you trust people and they're not honest with you. But it's so not you their job. So you were taken advantage of as a young artist? I don't think I was. I, I, don't, I don't claim that because I'm a grown man and I take responsibility for it, right? So if I take responsibility for it, I have this thing where whenever I make a mistake or whenever I look back on things, it, the hindsight, I vow that that will never happen again. And I learned how to learn or educate myself in a way that it will never happen again. Now you own your full rights now to your music. We've always owned 50%, right? But there's little nuances in that, legal fees, all kind of stuff, right? And we just finished our legal battle in 2017. To make sure it didn't happen again, he took paralegal courses and joined a public relations society, signed with an agency to do voiceover work, and he did something else. But we didn't have a web presence as with the website. And I said, that'll never happen again. And that's when I started search engine optimization, digital marketing. And it's taken me 10 years and I've become masterful at it. And back then, you type in tag team, it was all wrestling. You type in tag team today, it's all tag team. So fast forward, I get a call, middle of the pandemic, Lena, people store, DC, you booked a Geico commercial. I was like, don't play, why are you playing with my emotions? I said, I ain't even auditioned for no Geico commercial. They're like, no, DC, they want a tag team. I was like, oh. So I go check the tag team phone, there it was. And because of SEO and because of all the things that I had set up, they were able to find me. Oh, fresh vanilla, rocky road, chocolate, peanut butter, cookie dough. So how has this opened up new venues for new you? What have you been doing since, you know, whoop, there it is, now scoop, there it is, has come back into the popular domain? Hustling, that's all I do. I work, plant seeds, and I try to turn every opportunity into 10. So tell me, tell me where you've been, where tag team has been performing, where you hadn't performed before. You've pretty much been everywhere. That's the thing. It's like we're always on the road, but now I enjoy it a little bit more. I always go to places a day before. So I can just drive around the city and just experience America. I'm about to start my motivational speaking career. Uh, I'm in movies. I'm in the new season of P at P Valley. I got two movies coming out, shot three movies during the pandemic. I do voiceover this week on NBC. God or ABC good. or CBS. So anybody, anybody out there ready? I'm ready, right? And people are like, DC, you can't, the traditionalists, some of my mentors, people who have been in the game, but stopped at some point, and they only know what they know, mm -hmm. tell me that you can't do everything. And I'm like, I don't want to argue. So I said, you know what? You're right, I can't do everything. But I sure enough can be prepared for everything. He's like, you know what, that makes sense, DC. I just shake my head, I'm like, you just disapproved of the very thing that I'm saying now that you approve of, said in a different way. And I said, the reason you're doing that because preparation is doing everything. I know what I, I, know what I want, I know what my vision is. I'm gonna do whatever it takes, I don't care how long it takes, I don't care how hard it is, I don't care how challenging it is, I don't quit period, ever. And the beauty of not quitting is that even if you do something and it doesn't pan out the way you thought, you put the work in and it comes back to serve you later in life in ways you could have never imagined. Ah, tag team, back again. Ice cream scooping, let's begin. Come on, party people, let me hear you scream. Proud to announce tag team ice cream. Scoop, there it is. Scoop, there it is. It's fresh vanilla, rocky road. Chocolate.
chocolate, peanut butter cookie dough. Scoop, there it is. Scoop, there it is. Scoop, shakalaka, 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 shaka. Scoop, shakalaka, 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 shaka. Scoop. One hit wonder. Mm -hmm. When you hear that, mm -hmm. what's your reaction to it? Thank you. For real. I'm a, people get mad about people calling us and I'm like, if you had to be a one hit wonder, what better record to have? I made a career, fruitful career, off of one song, 28 years. Who do, who get to do that? Coming up, things get messy in the kitchen when DC Glenn and I attempt to recreate the Scoop There It Is commercial. 